For many of us, this is our divine lifting. This is our divine lifting. And divine lifting is for unqualified followers of Christ. It is an unqualified lifting. You don't deserve it. We don't deserve salvation. We don't deserve God. But he's so loving, so merciful that he's even lifting us up divinely. And in this season, you will receive your divine lifting in Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. This lifting is by God, the creator of all things, the creator of the universe, the creator of you and I. Okay? This lifting must involve God. So if you don't associate with God, the owner of the universe, the owner of the creation, of all creation, the owner of you and I, if you don't involve God in your life, you don't associate with God, you don't even rep him, you don't, you don't acknowledge him, this, ain't, this message is not for you, you can just keep scrolling. When you don't expect God to bless you, that is the type of lifting this is. You're not expecting it. It's going to fall in your lap, up out of nowhere, because you have so diligently sought him. You have sought him diligently. Okay? See, this is God's version of promotion. And no map, no demon, no hater can demote you. Nobody can demote you. In Esther chapter 11... It, uh, I'm tripping. Esther chapter five, verse 11 talks about Haman and how Haman had gotten this advancement, right? But Haman had a hatred for Mordecai. And because he hated Mordecai, he had plotted and planned on how he was going to hurt Mordecai and kill Mordecai. But what happened was his plans against Mordecai turned against his own head. So Haman ended up being killed the way he planned for Mordecai to be killed. And this made Mordecai receive an, 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 advance, an advance blessing. He received Haman's advancement, okay? So we're going to pray today that any way that we have been involved in any sort of sin, we ask that the Lord cleans us up. That Heavenly Father, you clean us up. That we, oh God, are filthy, oh God. We acknowledge the fact that we are falling short of your glory, oh God. But Lord, we ask for a divine lifting. We ask for a divine cleansing. And we ask that how about you spread the gospel and help us to spread the gospel in every aspect of our life, in our character, in the way we carry ourselves, in the way we behave, okay? Something as I was reading my Bible yesterday, in Luke chapter 14, divine lifting does not just happen to just anybody. And we have to know this, okay? It's for those who just put God first. Who put God first and then who put others before them. And who humble themselves. In Luke chapter 14 verse 8 to 11, it talks about humbling yourself. Because at the end of the day, when you humble yourself, that's when you get lifted. That's when you get lifted. That's when you get acknowledged. But when you're doing big guy and you sit in a place that you're not even qualified for, you put yourself in a high place where you're not qualified for, that can bring shame to you because they'll demote you. That's something we need to know is humility. We need to be humble. Okay? Another thing is you want to be a giver. Be a giver. For divine lifting to take place in somebody's life, you must make it a habit to be a giver. When you get your, your check, right, from your job, you take your 10% and give it to God. You take your 10% and put it in your savings. And then you take your 10% and put it in your giving. That can be cash. Make sure you pull that out for cash. So that way, if you're riding on the road somewhere and you see somebody in need, in help, that needs help, you're able to give. Make it a habit to give. Out of your check, make sure you set that money aside. Just like you set aside your tithes for God and your offering for God. Just like you set aside your savings for your savings account for rainy days. Also set aside 10% of that rest remaining of the money for giving. Because when you give, this is universal. When you give, it comes back to you. Give and it will come back to you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, running over, give, and it will come back to you. When you give, 
you give to the Lord. So many people are in need of help right now. And our money is just sitting in our account because they don't have cash out. They don't have Zelle. So what you need to do is pull out that cash for them or go get them a little sandwich or something and, you know, hand it to them or a bottle of water or something, you know. So we ask the everlasting father, rabbi, king of kings, Lord of lords, Jehovah Nisi, almighty God, help us, oh God, to forsake everything and follow you, oh God. Help us to forsake it all and follow you, oh God. Help us to put aside our own desires and to just Focus on following you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to spread the gospel in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to not give us half, give up halfway in the name of Jesus. Father, we have started. You have started something in our lives. Father God, you will finish it in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, we lastly but not least ask that you help us to finish the building of your kingdom, O oh God. That which we have started in our lives. That which you have started in our in our ministry everlasting father we ask that you help us to complete it in the mighty name of jesus every soul that needs to be saved through us in the mighty name of jesus help us oh god continue to divinely lift us oh god continue to divinely assist us oh god in the mighty name of jesus heavenly father we thank you so much everyone under the sound of my voice father god they will receive their divine lifting in the name of jesus they will not miss out on that which you have planned for their destiny in jesus glorious mighty name we pray amen and amen god bless you all as you obey in jesus mighty name